Yeah. Like it, fries. Bro, it's in, I'm on this I'm on the street diet. They got Cheerios over here, cheesecake over here, Z5 Snickers, Twix. Yeah, that's what she's How am I gonna get silly with like this? No, I'm Emily. Emily, what are you doing? Emily thinks you know where she's going. You don't know where she's going. Indian pasta is over there, even though that sounds delicious. I invited Jared Lee to Oh, really? Yeah. They got a little thumb set up over there, some like thumbs and play music. It's still not going to be as good because Winter Bakers you know they get lost, so, like, I'm here. I'm here, but Winter Baker won't be. And I'm just sad about it. Okay, like, we can always go to Indian Summer in a couple months. Yeah, that'll probably be better. Probably. I like it. We, we could uh, do the melee sports. Yeah. Do they have melee sports at Oh. You want to go look? I know you do. Oh, you, you know I do. Because I'm a nerd. <laughs> that just intrigues my nerdism. Amalia, Emily, stay close. Come back I mean, I already do fight club, but there. this isn't much of a stretch. Right? Medieval. Medieval sports. I'll go for that sports thing and I'll pull him down and start beating him up. I'm going to choke him. Bro, I wish I was in this clip. I want, to, I want to be in this clip. We were invited to this clip. Not this clip. No, we, we were invited to, to the large clip. Yeah. Not this clip. Yeah. This is this is the new clip. I'm trying to get into this clip. I just want to get into this clip. I don't know. I think you circle around and ask questions. Yeah. Go yeah. circle around and ask questions. I want to be in this clip. This is how you have to create this. And up. And I'm thinking. This is crazy. Come on, we just gonna walk around the road. No, we just. I don't know, I'm just looking. 
I don't know. I'm just looking. Tim. Tim, you look more. You look more um accepted here. Accepted so go here. in there. Go I in there. Accepted here. Nah, bro. I just let your hair accepted. down. The and they'll think like he's he's a Viking. <laughs> And then see my gavel. That's what you got this way. Bro, we circled it and then they did not. Well, that's because you have that question. I'm scared. So do I just walk I in? Do I just walk in? I don't want to intrude on their space. But I want to intrude on their space. Ooh, they're... I'm scared, bro. I'm nervous. Bro, this looks like so much fun. And I just want to get in here. Hi guys. Hi. We're the Society for Creative Anachronism. We're a Middle Ages reenactment group. You guys know who we are. You're kind of nodding your head if you're a little bit. Little bit. Um, so you know we do a variety of forms of combat. You can feel free to look around. This is our steel combat stuff. This is our rattan combat stuff. Um, then we also have our arts and sciences. We try and reenact all of the parts of the Middle Ages. Um, we'll go rent entire campsites, take them over. Uh, we even have youth activities, we even have youth combat if you're over mm. six. Um, so are you guys from, from Bartlesville here? Yeah, from Bartlesville. Okay. We have actually several members of our local group here. If you find you're interested, they have some contact information over there. Feel free to look, ask questions. We're very talkative folk. We're very happy yeah. to talk to anybody that's interested. Um, now, if you're interested in steel combat the way these work, while they look very dangerous. Yeah. Oh shoot. <laughs> okay. These particular weapons are known as rapiers. This one. Yeah. Three musketeers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Long thin blades. They were made for thrusting and slicing, not impact cuts. Yeah. Okay. Um, then we have a form called cut and thrust, which also uses steel weapons. Let the impact cuts come back in. They're a different kind of weapon. This is mine. This is a, a, a Indian shim shield. Um, I do Mongolian, and so pretty much anything from that area I can get away with. I also have a Chinese sword here that I fight with. Um, a fight with a great, great weapon called a Ming Dang Dao. Um, but again, when I'm fighting right here, I can only thrust and I can only slice through it. Yeah. Fortunately, these, made, these babies were made for slicing all day long. Yeah, yeah. Now, these were late period weapons. Uh, 1500s ish. Our medieval combat, we use rattan for that. Rattan is a solid bamboo. Okay, you can get special heads for them to make them into axes, maces, whatever stuff you like. Yeah. Uh, this is where you see your great sword, your your two-handed maces, all that good stuff. The, the early period, heavily armored stuff. Um, now we use rattan for a few reasons. Um, one, when wood breaks and goes along the grain, tends to leave a spike. Yeah, I could hurt my friend. <laughs> yeah. When this stuff goes, it tends to poof into a broom or break straight across. So there's no thrust. The other thing is that the breaking part of rattan is slightly less than bone. So in theory, it should break before you do. Yeah. Now, we do not hit each other as hard as we can. We have a standard standard how hard we hit each other, but we want that added safety measure because stuff happens. It is yeah, a full combat sure. sport. If you guys have done any kind of full contact sports, you know no matter how many safety measures in place, you got to plan for what people are not supposed to do. Yeah. And that's what we do here. Um, oh, and this is part of our cut and thrust. Our cut and thrust is, is another form of steel combat, but the cuts are back in. They're not just slicing and thrusting. These are a little more rigid. And they're actually made for a little heavier play. They require a little more armor for these. Yeah. But they're all kinds of fun. Yeah. Um, so feel free to ask questions. We also do all the arts and science. We have special combat that we do. We've actually developed special arrows so we can shoot each other in battle. Uh, we got a tent set up for that over there. I don't think they're up and going yet, but later on, if you come back by, they'll probably be letting people shoot. Yeah. 
check it out. So feel free to look at everything. Like I said, we're very chatty folks, so ask questions. <laughs>
and buy it for me. Buy what for you? You don't need that. I love Vegas. I love Vegas too. Here we are. Neither of us with it. What's, that's the problem. You're married and I'm, and I'm single. I don't know why we did it. But I need it though. I don't need it. I just want it. We get blankets and then we're going. to have a late preview from for, yeah like it's an early late preview it's an early late preview early late preview yeah because i'm going yeah so it's going to be early for 225 but late for the actual summer can i afford it do i want it the diving helmet <laughs> we 
really walk all the way through here. Let's go get yeah. snow cones. It depends on your mindset. Like, if your mindset changes everything. Where am I looking at? Oh, oh, oh my. Oh. Don't oh, 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 I like this, bro. I don't have this hanging in my house. I know, but I still like it though. It's still part of my, my bar show here. Look at the oil oil. The oil, you need to make it with the oil thing and try to go through it. Mm. That's what you need. Yeah. 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 So big now, <laughs> almost as tall as me.